two, uno, go. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey there. Welcome to week star. 14 of the Dude Ranch Podcast. Uh, recap last week. Pigs can pick them. Pigs can, oh yeah, what I say, podcast. Pigs can pick them. Got a little confused. Um, week 13, another fucking average fucking week for us. No, 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 we no, did, no, no. Shut the fuck up. We did finish one game over 500 as a unit. Thanks to this guy. Woo! Because he went three and one. He uh, got off the uh, schneid. I can't get off the two and two schneid. Been on there for fucking back, weeks. Back. Uh, Waz, Waz and Brady both went two and two. Well, we went one and three on sperm banks. Who hit it? You did. What, uh, I did. What did the Chargers win by? I thought I covered that game. No, nah, they won by four. It was four and a half. Mm, I thought it was three and a half. Damn. No, four and a half. Got it right, right there Damn. in the stand right. And I almost, I almost cheated the show last week. Can I use a big one? Would have the first time. No, but I fucking recognized it, <laughs> and I fucking corrected it before. It was the Wisconsin Nebraska game. On the paper, it's nine and a half. Whenever I made the bet, um, I didn't get my bet in in time, so the line the line was uh, Nebraska or uh, Wisconsin scored really fast. So the line went up to sixteen. I said, "Well, I ain't betting on that game now." So then Nebraska scored real quick. So it was seven seven. Line went down to six and a half. So I got six and a half. So I actually won the bet because they won by seven. And I was just thinking, "Oh, I won the bet, so I won on there." But I corrected it. And I called it to my. I had to call it out before he did. I go first since I won the week. It's your choice, dealer's choice. You can go first. I want to receive. I want to receive. Receive the kick. Give me three picks, then. All right. Pussy hands. Pussy hands is ready to go. I'm hot, and I got a lead that's gonna win me the show. It's gonna bounce me back. All right. First pick. Under forty six and a half points. Browns. Ravens. I'll explain it all at the end. I'm going to rattle my picks off that I'm going to explain. My second pick, under 47, Chargers, Broncos. Got it? 41 and 47 and a half? Yeah, sure, 47 and a half. All right, and my third pick, under 46 and a half, Giants, Eagles. Now, let me explain. 46 and a half? Yeah, 46 and a half. After week 10... Unders in divisional games are 216 and 138. That's a 61% chance that the unders are hitting in divisional games after week 10. Last week, they were 3-1, and one, so I hate the numbers, but this number is going to lead me to victory. Pound the under, baby! I like it. I like that you came up with some fucking numbers, some reasons behind your pick. Even though you contradicted yourself twice, you used mm. numbers... Which you said you hate, and you went with the under, which you always say life's too short to bet the the under. But yeah, I like it though. I like it. I like this. I like that analytic too. That's a good. The analytic. good thing about the under is you're winning until you lose. <laughs> it's true. I like that analytic though. I like that. We're gonna ride it every fucking week from here on to the end of the show. It has We're, to be a divisional game. Yeah, the divisional games. Okay. Yeah. That's a solid analytic. Yeah. 216 and 138 since the year 2005. So that's dating back 16 years. Yep. That's a, that's six, a solid six, analytic. It's a 61%. You bet 10 of them, six of them are going to hit. All right. Which one of you two bozos want to go next? Okay. <laughs> Dana was like, All right. My first pick, love these Eagles, baby. I love the Eagles in this matchup. Eastern Michigan plus oh. eight and a half <laughs> against Central Michigan. And I'll tell you what. Eastern Michigan just got done beating Western Michigan. And I think Western Michigan is much better than fucking Central Michigan. I think they pull this off. I think they win this outright. Eastern Michigan, E-M-U, go, Eagles, go. I think they win this fucking outright. It's a great pick. It's a solid pick. Put it in your fucking asshole and twist it. It's beautiful. Pick numero dos. Chivago's fucking penis is going to be pumping uh -oh. on this one, baby. Uh -oh. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Minus 10 and a half against North Texas. They're going to piss pound them. The road runners are going to meet me. Boom. Gone. <laughs> Give it to him one more time just in case you didn't hear it good the first time. Meet me. Gone. I meant, I meant the hoots <laughs> part, not to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you only get one. You only get one. So just... Uh, you, Chivago, you can just go back and listen to it again. <laughs> just rewind. And it. then, 
Um, so my third pick, I'm also pretty confident in. Okay, and I'll tell you why. It's because of the genius, baby. The New England Patriots minus five and a half. They're one of the hottest teams in football right now. They're shellacking motherfuckers. And I like them a lot against Tennessee um, with Derrick Henry out. Tannehill, suspect. He stinks. Billy B knows it. They're going to be all through that backfield smacking that boy around. Tannehill stinks. All right. Seems like solid picks to me. about uh, North Texas defense. I don't know if you look at stats and numbers lost, but their defense is fucking atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> Their defense is terrible. All right, Brady, give me three picks. Uh, rivalry week, so naturally you just go with the rivals. Uh, I'll take Michigan, the Walmart Wolverines, plus eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's up to eight and a half? Well, it's eight. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Eight and a half. Okay. Who are they okay. playing? The Ohio State. <laughs> I know. Did you see? Hold on, I interrupt you. But did you see on Ohio State's Twitter bio? They took out every M. Like they're the eight. Yeah, yeah. All the Ohio State fans do that too. They don't use M's in any of the texts yeah. or yeah. fucking shit they send. They don't use. Week. They don't use the letter M this week. They put yeah. like a red X yeah. through it. The yeah. emoji red X. Yeah. That's what they do. Ahead, Which they don't. They don't read and write too good. No how. So <laughs> no know. how. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna go. To the battle of Georgia, when this game is not going to be a battle. Georgia's laying 34 and a half. Give me the dogs to pummel Georgia Tech. Everybody's pummeling Georgia Tech. They're going to close the season out with a statement because they're the best team in the nation, and they're going to pummel Georgia Tech, and it's going to be ugly. And then we're going to go with the Pittsburgh Panthers. Not really a rivalry game versus Syracuse, (laughs) but – Boys are buzzing after a coastal berth, big win. Syracuse has been really struggling. I know they started out as the best ATS team in college, but they've been on a fucking bender. They've been getting shit on. So, Pitt minus 11 and a half. Loves a Pitt pick. Loves a Pitt. Yeah, Dogs was going to make my pick too, but it came down to – It made your significant seven? made the significant seven. (laughs) <laughs> I don't like. I don't know about Pitt. Then <laughs> they don't cover too well. All right, cover no well. They don't cover too good. No how. <laughs> All right, I guess it's my turn. I'm gonna go. Uh, my first pick. I want to let you all know right now, Chicago. You he made you hard. I'm gonna make you come. All doggy style, baby. I'm fucking them doggy style this week. I got all dogs. Fuck them in the ass and feed them, bees. Chicago got hard by was. I make them come with the doggy style. <laughs> all right. Uh, my first game, I agree with Brady. I'll switch mine then. I didn't know that line moved up. Uh, Michigan plus eight and a half at Ohio State. Uh, a lot of numbers don't favor this. Michigan is one and nine straight up in their last ten against Ohio State. This just feels yeah. like a... Yeah, we're fucking due. It's due, yeah. man. It's fucking due. And Michigan is one of the best ATS teams this year. They are nine and two ATS this year. And uh, another reason, real quick, that I forgot to say is everyone now thinks Ohio State because the last two weeks they've been fucking pummeling people. Yeah, it's only fitting that they come out and lay an egg this week. Right, and I, let me. I'll get into that. I think quick. they'll win, though. I do think they'll win. Also, eighty percent of the betting public is taking fucking OSU right now. Um, so he was talking about them pummeling people, and they've been doing it through the fucking air. They have – OSU has the number one fucking offense, scoring offense, and they're sixth passing the ball in the country. But not so fast, my friend. Michigan's fucking pass defense is seventh against the pass in the fucking nation. I love that. OSU's uh, pass defense is 99th. So they struggle against the pass. I look, I look that for Michigan to be able to move the ball through the air, and they have a pretty good running game with that RPO. Um, so I really look for this to be close. I think Brady, with Brady, I think OSU wins, but this is going to be within a fucking touchdown. And Michigan can win this fucking game. Yeah, they can. They are. They're long over there. The way they're of, long. The way of Harbaugh's, Harbaugh has to beat Ohio State once, and if he hasn't had a better chance to do it than this year. Right. This he is, has if, to do Yeah, it. this is their best he chance has to that do they've it. had in a while to beat them, to actually win the game. All right, my next one, I'm going to stay in the Big Ten. And I'm taking 
the Greg Shiano led fucking Rutgers plus one and a oh, half. Oh, the fighting Shiano <laughs> at home against Don't Fear the Turtle. Listen, don't, there's, don't fear there's, them, there's nothing to fear about this team. They're three and eight APS this year. Uh, uh, Shiano is six and four APS Rutgers, so they're not a bad team APS. There's nothing significant on the numbers about either one of these two teams. They're five and five ATS last ten with against each other. Uh, the only significant number I seen was Maryland's uh, in the scoring defense. They are a hundred and nineteenth in the country, Ooh, so they give nice. up a lot of fucking points. I look for Rutgers between two games, uh, two teams that are pretty much shitters. Take the home shitter. I take the home shitter on that one plus one and a half. Uh, There's no place to shit. Than at your own house. And, Don't shit somewhere and else. And my last of the third picks. Because <laughs> I'm going to go, because I like beaver. So I'm going to go with the fucking beavers. I'm taking the beavers plus seven and a half at Oregon. Uh, I got a little couple numbers here. Uh, Oregon State this year is seven and four ATS, and Oregon's four and seven. It's not a good betting team to fucking take Oregon. Uh, OSU has the eighth best rushing offense, and they're four and two in their last six against Oregon. Five and one ATS in their last six November games. You know I love that fucking stat. I love that stat. That means that they play better later in the fucking season. This is a rivalry game. Um, it's rivalry week, just like Brady said. I like the fucking Beavers to cover this spread. Maybe to win the game. Oregon sauce. All right, that's my three picks. So we'll go to upset. Drew, give me an upset. Braxty, Brady, good pick. John Harbaugh is going to come strutting in his good luck khakis, baby. <laughs> Drinking a glass of milk. Yep, glass of milk and his good luck khakis. What do you say? He's 1-9. Straight I mean, he's up. He's not 1-9. and nine. He's 0-whatever oh the fuck. How long has he been coaching there? 0-whatever. Oh he's never He gets that. off the schneid, baby. The Wolverines win the game. And Jim Harbaugh. Is it John? Is it Jim? Jim. John, Jim. Jim Harbaugh's wife. Jim knows you. You know Jim. <laughs> you know Jim or Jim knows you. He's going to get the win, and then his wife's going to pull down those khakis and suck his cock while he's drinking a glass of milk. The Wolverines <laughs> win outright, and Waz gets excited. He's going to be like, oh, yeah. And Waz gets, oh, yeah. Good. Waz That's gets good. excited because that gets Notre Dame one step closer to the playoff. No, Michigan would move up. Yeah, they're still uh, behind, uh, Michigan. Yeah, they're behind Michigan. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry, this game's Juan. insignificant to uh, Notre Dame, really. Uh, I would. Yeah, this, so. this game don't matter at all. Yeah, this game's not insignificant. Us. All right, Hammer, give me an upset. All right, I tell you what. You guys hear that? Someone's playing fucking Renegade, baby. Give me the pitch. Woo! Stellars. Yeah. The fucking Bengals. Have a shittier home record than they do a fucking road record. Two and two at home, four and two on the road. The Bengals are going to fucking Bengal, baby. Cincy is going to Cincy. They know how to do it. They love to do it. They're going to fucking, they're going to shit it out. They're going to yep. shit pickles yep. out of their assholes. Yeah. Uh, give me them Stiller boys from Woo! Pittsburgh. Good pick. Good pick. Good. They know how to do it, and they're good at doing it. And we're getting healthy. Watt's going to play. Watt, they're all, he's expecting Watt, Hayden, and Mink all to be ready to go. They're going to be buzzing. And it's a good team. Like, it's not a shitter team. So, I mean, well, record-wise, they're a winning team anyhow. All right, Brady, give me an upset pick. All right. There's one thing you don't do in the NFL. You don't give people bulletin board material, right? Bulletin board material is the number one thing you don't do in the NFL. Yep. Everyone agree? Yeah. Agree. Okay. Yeah. A couple weeks back, a guy who I used to love from the University of Pittsburgh is now dead to me. He's dead to the whole city of Pittsburgh. Tyler Boyd gave Pittsburgh Steelers some bulletin board material this week by saying, we quit playing that game. And I'll tell you what we're not going to do this week. We're not going to quit. We're going to beat the shit out of the bungles this week. And it's going to be ugly down there. In the jungle, as they call it. It's going to yep. be ugly. It's going to be a force fire, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I want to throw in a bonus pick for Daniel Son. This game will help Daniel Son. The Pirates of East Carolina at home knock off Cincinnati. Cincinnati's been looking like shit the last couple weeks. Pirates with that spread, run and gun. Daniel, Let's you're going to be fucking Bucks. jerking it this Let's week. Let's go, Box. Let's go, Box. <laughs> All right, I'll give you my upset pick in a little bit. 
Um, so we'll just go right to the sperm bank. Drew, give me a sperm bank. You mean you're skipping your upset? Yeah, yeah. I'll just pump some package. Dude. All right. We might as well make it three in a row, baby. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers with the points. Let's go. We don't need the points. Can I put money line as my sperm bank? You yeah, want, I don't want the points. They don't win the game. You lose. You lose. The game. Money line. Because we all agree with this, right? He said, "Yep, okay. money line." He can take them how he wants them, baby. <laughs> okay. Feed so them beans and fuck them in the ass. Who knows if they lose by one point? He can't be like, "Well, I, I covered that." Man. No, I didn't. I don't want it because we're not going to lose, baby. So are you fucking him in the ass and then reaching around and putting beans in their mouth? Yeah. Is that? Yep. The Okay. No, no, they're not even going to get them. I'm just going to put it in front of their face and tease them the beans. I'm just going to tease right. them the beans. They're not even allowed to have the beans. They're not even allowed to have the beans. Because Joe Burrow is a pussy. He has pussy hands. That's what he has. He has pussy hands. Hammer, give me okay. a sperm bank. All right. Okay. For my sperm bank lock of the week, I say to Brady, not so fast, Praxty. Not so fast, my friend. Cincinnati <laughs> needs a big win. <laughs> To try and fuck with no. the goddamn playoff he's committee. Rever- and I'll reversing. tell you what, they're going to fucking do it. Minus <laughs> 13 and a half against East Carolina. They're going to swashbuckle them fucking East Carolina pack. He's reversing. They're going to swashbuckle. He's doing a big Not Julian. so fast, Praxty. <laughs> it, it, has, it hasn't worked the other way picking it for him. He's reversing. They're like, oh, Cincinnati. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> Now, Chris Cincinnati Cross is going to lose against Houston in the conference championship. That's when they're going to take the L. Reverse, reverse, awesome. reverse, reverse. A lot of people were overlooking Houston. Houston's got a damn good football team. They're going to contend with that Cincinnati team. All right. And I'll tell you what, if Cincinnati's the betting favorite – and they're they're fucking uh, they're eating points. Well, they're gonna. I, be I'll tell they're, you this yeah. right now: Houston's <laughs> oh, gonna on. be my fucking. I'm they're literally in the top it. five. They're gonna be the betting favorite. And only thirteen and a half points. If they come out against Houston as a betting underdog, I'm gonna fucking jerk off so many times in the cops. Yeah, I would like that a lot. I would like <laughs> yeah. that a lot. Yeah, please, Vegas, put Houston as a favorite <laughs> in that game. Oh, he said that. Yeah, he said. Oh, he, he said. If, oh, he said. Okay. If Cincinnati opens oh, up, I thought you meant like betting favorite as in the majority of people is going to be betting that way. No, no, no. I mean, if the line if they're fucking laying points, you know what I mean. Oh, they're going to be laying points. Gonna be laying fucking points against. Yeah, that's Houston. what I'm saying. I'm taking Houston I, I, all day. Yeah. I do hope it's more than a touchdown though, because Houston is good. If I, Cincinnati lost this week, they would still lay points. I think there's three yeah. teams that Cincinnati is not laying points to: Bama, Georgia, Ohio State. I think that might be it. Maybe Michigan. Yeah, Ohio uh-huh. State would—they wouldn't be—they would be getting points against Ohio State. That's what sure. I said. That's what I oh, said. Oh, I thought you said Bama. Those State. are the three teams that Cincinnati would get points. Why Michigan? Maybe Michigan. Why Michigan? They'd be close. I bet you they'd get points against Notre Dame as well. They just beat you right guys. Now they would. <laughs> okay, move on, Brady. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at how we were playing earlier <laughs> in the season, and then look at us now. We've All allowed right. six points. My, in three my, fucking my games. turn. All my, right, my, right, my right. turn. Tell me if you guys can hear this. I'm coming back to that. Yes, no. Is it the Eastern Michigan Eagles? Hit them low. Hit them high. They got real caught. There you go. Wait. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles minus three and a half versus the sorry football blue. I'll tell you what, the Eagles are on a fucking tear the last couple weeks. They're averaging a buck fifty on the ground in their last three games. Jalen Hurts looks like the real deal. Devontae Smith's balling that defense. Darius Slay back to back pick sixes. And I watched the blue last night. I watched Daniel Jones throw a pick. To Steve McClendon. The guy wasn't even <laughs> just standing there. He was done with the play. And here comes old Daniel. Bloop, right to him. Daniel Jones stinks. The blue, I almost called him the G. The blue stink. They have no defense. They have no offense. Eagles by three and a half for sure. Look at that. Chivago got That's fucking good. hard. Now senior's going to get hard. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the first Eagles sperm bank pick of the year. Might be. <laughs> for them. I'm sure someone probably picked against them. <laughs> All right, my turn for my sperm bank. And I'm going to make it a package fucking combo deal here. You can bet it either way you want. You can go money line, or you can take the three and a half fucking points. 
but I like Detroit fucking silver to get it done. I'm giving oh. you a tur I'm giving oh. you a fucking oh. turkey oh. day. Sperm bank? I'm giving you a turkey day fucking sperm bank. Oh. Detroit silver. They've been nipping at the hills. They tied the Steelers. They fucking lost by three at uh, on the fucking road at Cleveland. They're nipping at the hills. This week, they get their first W at home. Oh, Ford man. Field. Yeah, you got that right, baby. They're respectable. Listen, they're Who's respectable. Who the fuck are they playing? The Bears. The Bears fucking stink, dude. Andy Dalton's starting, too. I will, so that does help Th you. That does bit. help because then, that, then you don't have that, that – that, uh, you don't have to worry about that quarterback fucking run. <coughs> um. Yeah, so uh, Detroit's a respectable 6-4 and four ATS this year. They're a good ATS team. Bears, not so much. They're 3-7. and seven. Detroit Silver, get it done at home. <laughs> this And this is definitely the first time Detroit Silver has been picked oh, as yeah. a Spurs. Oh, yeah. It's going to be you're a while. Listen, gonna fucking you're a numbers guy. When you announced that, I was really curious. The Lion, or Silver, sorry. I'll have a drink on the podcast next week. The Lions are an under 500 team on Thanksgiving Day. Why did you not look up that number before taking them? They're an under 500 team on well, Thanksgiving Well, but to be fair, they play every fucking Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Literally, so they I, play so every what? Thanksgiving for so why? why? Well, I'm just saying. Um, they, they out of all the again. fucking teams oh. they could have picked to play every Thanksgiving, you could have had the Patriots, you could have had the fucking Cowboys, uh, the Redskins when they were a thing. The teams don't why, like that. Why is it? No, it's it, here's wow. why that started. Daniel's racist. No, but here's yeah, why that yeah. started. Football team. It's football day, Daniel. It's because the, they were trying to drum up fucking hype, so they figured they'd come out with a Thanksgiving. And I think it was the line Henry Clay Ford or whatever. I think it was his idea to have a Thanksgiving Day game. And then the Cowboys jumped in on that, too, just so they could get, you know, because they wanted to become America's team. So that's the prime time game. Like, everybody has it on. Even if you're not watching it, you have it the fuck on. That's why, yeah. and that's well, why they always fucking play. Not so I know. Much. Listen, though, was I know. But listen, the Cowboys got three games in 12 fucking days. Like, a lot of teams don't want this Thanksgiving day because you, usually you just played Sunday or Monday. You got to come back off that three. That's why they hate playing them Thursday night games. You got to come back off that short fucking rest. Players don't like this. <clears throat> but them fucking biting the fucking kneecaps and heels and ankles, them, them lines are going to, them silver, they're going to come out fighting, I, baby. I will be I'll watching tell you what, the dog I thought show. About not the football. I'll be watching the dog. The show. puppy bowl. The puppy bowl. The puppy bowl. I, I ain't coming up to your house then because I'm putting cash. I got a puppy bowl. I gotta, is during the Super Bowl. I got a participant right here. She's right here. The no, there, there's a dog thing. Isn't Come here. Here. He's talking about Tell the, me yeah, in the puppy bowl. Come here. Come here. Hey, the dog I'll show. tell you what, though. I thought puppy about bowl right the here. <laughs> Daisy Duke. My, uh, puppy bowl. You going to be in the puppy bowl? Daisy Duke. Yep. She's going to be in the puppy bowl. Puppy bowl. She gives no fuck about us. Turn around, you fucker, you! <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's uh, all our picks. I'm going to go over some. I got some. Um, what did I want to say? What do, oh, first, I want to say something. Oh, but I was saying that Notre Dame. Oh, yeah. Like, how the fuck? They were. Notre Dame was underdogs at home earlier in the year against Cincinnati and lost. How, what, what makes you think that they would be favored now? Um, the fact that we've been playing a lot better football. The defense is fucking outrageous. We've had like five or six starters out every single week. And uh, yeah, but we've Cincinnati allowed, hasn't lost the game. And they beat you. We've, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've allowed. <laughs> A total of six points in our last three games combined. I get that. No, Georgia, I, I get that. Georgia won. Georgia won by less points <sighs> than we did last week, and they played a fucking FCS team. We had our fucking third strings in by the fucking second half. How do you, how do you know Georgia then? Did you watch the Georgia fucking? Third? I'm sure Georgia was taking that game real serious. <laughs> oh yeah, they were down in. They were down. A paycheck weekend in the uh, SEC. But no, was listen. I'm telling you. That they were already a favorite in your building yeah. and won. There's zero chance Notre Dame would be favored over them unless like Ritter all injured I, or something. Hey, I hope, those, I hope, I hope they are. Notre Dame was I favored. Hope they are. I hope Notre somehow Dame they was favored in that game. No, because no, no, that's why I jumped on Notre Dame because they were catching points at home <laughs> yeah, against they Cincinnati. Were catching points. It was three and a half. No, wasn't it, Brady? Look, we had the yeah, center pass. Oh yeah. yeah, what week was that? It was, it was like it was something like that. It was it was it was up there. But Big Grizzly, you bet on Notre Dame that day. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's why I jumped on Notre Dame. 
Yeah. Don't worry, Daniel. You don't have to worry about Cincinnati. You know who you have to worry about? Kenny Pickett and the Pitt Panthers in the Peach Bowl. Week four. Week four. Yeah, Notre Dame plus two and a half. As of right now, everything fucking lines up for Notre Dame to get in. <clears throat> You're not getting in, pal. Sorry. Bama's not getting in as a two-loss team. They're going to get yes, whacked. Yes, they will. Well, I, I bet they do. Was. I bet they do. I, if they I lose hate to Georgia by less than a field goal, I bet they get in. I hate to tell you this, Waz, but I think they might put a two-loss Bama in. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be the best content that we're ever going to witness because you're going to fucking go nuts. Even the, ha- even the hammer didn't take Notre Dame that day. Catching points at home? He was scared. He scared a Ritter. <laughs> now, listen. Listen. So, here's the he fucking thing. Bama, as a two-loss team, is going to drop out. We're going to be sixth as of right now. Michigan is going to fucking drop one. They're going to – Michigan, the blue, they love, they love fucking up. Cincinnati might drop one as well to Houston. There's lots of possibilities of us getting in. <laughs> you, need a lot, you need a lot who of did, teams to drop. Who did Michigan one. lose to? Michigan we need State. two teams Michigan to fucking State. drop, Drew. We still have conference championships. I'm telling you, you're not getting in. If if Michigan don't beat Ohio State, and then also not, Ohio State ain't losing. Yeah, this, also this people are talking Ohio about State us right. jumping Cincinnati in the last week because uh, right. the committee doesn't like Cincinnati. They're talking about us jumping them. They did it with Michigan and Michigan State. Yes, they did. It's not not their head. Yes. Where'd you they find? Did. Where'd you yeah, find that at? Here come <laughs> the Irish Facebook page. Better Dame Twenty Four Seven dot com. <laughs> You don't jump a team that you lost to in your own. The internet building. would go the fuck off. People would go the they, fuck they off. They can't. Michigan they State, can't Michigan State, Michigan, right? But Michigan that's, but that's not. But that's Michigan not. State. But that's not jumping them into the playoff. Yeah, that wasn't in the playoffs. And they still fucking ranked them above them. That was their fuck. They had played head to head and lost. Yeah, because they're a better team. How can you say that whenever they fucking beat them? Did you watch that game? The ref gave them that game. The committee's like, oh, okay. You can say that about every fucking SEC game. The refs always fucking are biased as fuck. Have you ever watched an SEC game, Drew? Yeah, I have. I love, I, I love this Daniel hate for the SEC. I, I don't know where, why, <laughs> like. To be fair, Michigan State lost the fucking, didn't they get, they got their ass wolf by Perdon. Yeah. yeah. And so and, that, that don't look good. And if Ohio like, State wanted to, they would have almost <laughs> dropped one to fucking Nebraska. Okay, almost doesn't count. If it okay, but listen, so did one, Ohio State. If, if it wasn't for a shitty called penalty that moved Nebraska out of field goal range, Nebraska would have taken them to overtime, possibly. Daniel, Daniel, you know you barely beat a max goal at home, right? You know that you're forgetting about the and you barely and you game. barely beat that a was early shitty in the season, Florida State. We're different fucking oh yeah, and Florida Greece. State. What about grabbed Florida the hold State? of his shoulders and pulled his head out of his own fucking ass? You almost lost the Florida better. State. Yeah. You almost lost the Toledo. You lost the fucking Cincinnati. Come on, the committee doesn't fucking put that much stock into you guys either. No, yeah. listen. First of all, Florida State was the first game of the season. I, when I say <laughs> that our fucking team has played better. Um, well, you have. You want to say shit like that? Okay. Well, fucking Bama almost lost to fucking LSU. LSU is about the fucking shit can. The LSU, fucking LSU, fucking LSU would beat the break. LSU would beat the brakes off of fucking Florida State and Toledo. I don't know. They LSU wouldn't beat the brakes off us though, Drew. I'll tell you. I, that. you Last you time we played stop. them was in a bowl game. We beat them. Listen, though, you can just stop with that Alabama stuff because I'm telling you right now, they're gonna get clout. From that committee yeah. with all the championships if they that, won, if that, they're going to keep getting clout until they prove they don't deserve. If that, if that game versus Georgia yeah. is within a field goal, I think a two loss Bama gets in. Well, Daniel, you should be fucking, you should be rooting as hard as you possibly can for Georgia to win because if Georgia loses, then you're real fucked. Yeah. Them two are both, both getting, getting in, both in yeah. for sure. That's, the only way Georgia don't get in. in. Is if they lose to Georgia Tech and then lose. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the only way Georgia. Nah, Tech Georgia is. loses to Georgia Tech. They might not be ranked anymore. Yeah, they don't deserve <laughs> to get in if they lose to Georgia Tech. Yeah, you better be rooting hard for Georgia. Hold on, I want to ask Waz this question: How fucking fired up are you going to be if two oh, loss Alabama please. gets in over here? I'm not coming on any show for the rest. <laughs> of the <time>. But they <laughs> deserve it though. They're a better football team than you guys. They're a better football team than you guys. They are. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If you want to fucking say that, why don't they just take the top four teams from the preseason rankings and have them play it out at the end of the fucking season? If the fucking losses don't matter, why the fuck do they even play the games? 
Well, they're a better team. They got better recruits. Well, we they, could solve this all. Teams. We could solve this all if they would just do an eight or a ten team yeah, playoff. We true. could solve this all. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. But why in the fuck do the losses not matter at this point? They do Every matter. Every other but fucking sport they, goes by the standings, wins and losses. They do matter. But for Alabama, they, there's a different fucking rule for them. It was fair or unfair. Yes. There is because of all the <laughs> national championships yeah. they won. That's true. That doesn't matter. And they got it and, and they have does. a great team. But like they have a great team. They're the second We're not we're not dis we're not disagreeing with you saying it doesn't matter, but unfortunately in the eyes of them fuckers, them corrupt does. the corrupt NCAA but committee, it, which I but think is the it, committee's is fucking it corrupt bogus. Because Alabama was the second or third best team in the nation. Yeah, it is bogus. They, yeah, no, they are not. corrupt. Drew, no, they're not. They almost lost to fucking LSU. No, they're not. That you talk like they're the most fucking dominant team in college football. I'm we'll not. See. We'll I, see. I said here, they're two or thing. three. It goes Georgia. We'll see. We'll see what they look like against Ohio Georgia. State. We will we'll see. see. We will we'll see. Because right, right, right now, right now, I don't know if they're better than Ohio State. I don't know. That that's why. That's why I said they're second or third. Ohio and State or better. Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati on a neutral site. Cincinnati on a neutral site would give them all they can handle. They gave Georgia all they can handle last year. I'll tell you what. Right now. In my mind, and I'm a dogs fan. I like Georgia, but to me, when them two play in the SEC championship, to me, Bama's the favorite. Until Georgia can prove that they can beat fucking Bama, well, I'm not giving Georgia the benefit of the doubt. Until they, <laughs> Nick Saban, well, sense, Nick Saban's yeah. the Bill Belichick of college football. I can't wait for that. He'll, game. he'll that game, come that game, up with a fucking game plan. That game's gonna be. That game's gonna, gonna be a, be a barn burner. That game's gonna be. A they, should just, they should just. They should just make that. They should just make that the national championship. It'd be. It would. Why? I thought you just said bad. Ohio State was better. Well, I, they they might be. I said they might be. I don't not, know. Not with that pass defense. They're good. They are good. Bryce Bryce Young would like that defense out. <laughs> if, yeah, they don't, if they don't get pressure on because the one thing Ohio State can do is they can bring pressure. Yeah. If they get pressure on Bryce Young, then it would be a different story. But they're not we'll getting see, pressure. You got to figure. You got to figure. CJ Stroud and Bryce Young, they're both fucking freshmen. They both oh, yeah, have no fucking big game experience like that. I don't know. Anything can happen. You don't know what yeah. the fuck's going to happen. Stroud's a, a I'll tell you right what's right bound to happen. Right. But things is crazy. Well, yeah, but he didn't play at all. No, no, no. You're no, you're right. I'm saying he's a year older. We'll see. I don't know. That's why in those games I like to take in those games I like the guys who've been there. Now I don't. A big stat or a little stat hasn't really been there either. But let me ask a question real quick. I should save this for the podcast. This would be a good podcast topic. But Brady, what's the four you think would be the best fucking college football playoff? Um. Well, definitely Georgia, Alabama. <sighs> Then I'd have to say I have to see if Michigan beats Ohio State, then whatever one wins that game should be in, and then Cincinnati as long as they don't lose. Yeah, you're I just, thinking that would be it, the best one. Yeah, as far as the be- the four best teams that I've watched this year, those those are the five best teams that I've seen this year. But Michigan, I don't know. Michigan isn't they don't impress me that much. I think sometimes Ohio State they do. sometimes sometimes they do. I think I just think right now the, t- the the playoff what is it? It's Ohio State and Cincinnati three and four. Is yeah, that what it is? Yeah. I think that sh- that well, would it, be the it, best. The fucking playoff rankings haven't come out yet. Was now what was? What do you think would be the best final? Notre final? Dame, Virginia Tech. <laughs> uh, I'll give you Georgia, obviously. Um, He's not gonna say Bama's that. not getting in. They're, they're <laughs> I knew I knew he was gonna say Bama. They're not. I, I don't know why you think they are. They're not getting in. Uh, Georgia's gonna wax them. They're gonna embarrass them. And then Bama is not getting in. They're going to drop to six or seven probably after they get fucking embarrassed. Um, and then your number two team is going to be your Big Ten winner, unless it's fucking Nebraska and if it's or Wisconsin. I mean, if it's fucking Wisconsin, then the whole Big Ten drops completely out of the picture. Everything yeah. gets um, fu- everything gets fucked. In that scenario, what you said, everything's blown up. <laughs> If the Big and Ten Wisconsin's champion. Wisconsin's been playing real good football. I think that'd be hilarious. Who does who does uh, who does Notre just... Dame play this week, or do you guys not play? We got Stanford. Okay, so what if what if Stanford beats Notre Dame, and then that scenario plays out? That would be <laughs> fucking wild. It that would be, be a wild. Uh, we, fucking... it, here come the here come the ACC champion Pitt Panther. <laughs> Pitt's <laughs> creeping <laughs> out of the mix. <laughs> no, then uh, then fucking sorry ass Oklahoma would sneak up in there. Yeah, Pitt would be uh, like, "God damn it!" Hello, yeah, but who- <laughs> so that's another that's another team uh, that could creep in there. 
Oklahoma State or they Oklahoma. They don't deserve to be in if, there. if one yeah. of those two teams wins this week and then they win the conference championship as well, because that's a game you're going to see twice in a row, um, one of those two teams could get in. Um, I'd I rather see Notre Dame. Game. I'd rather in. you guys get in than Stanford. I'd rather see you guys get in. You mean Stanford, Oklahoma? You mean, Stanford, you mean Oklahoma, Oklahoma or Oklahoma? Or I mean, o- I meant Oklahoma. Sorry. Yeah, Oklahoma. So um, the way I see it, Georgia won. This is what I think the final rankings are going to be. This is how I think it's going to play out. Georgia won, Ohio State two, and coming in at number three is going to be Notre Dame because Cincy is going to lose. Um, and then at number four. I think Oklahoma State creeps in there. <laughs> so you think the committee would put an Oklahoma State in over a two-loss Bama? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. You These are drunk. If they get waxed, they're done. There's no way. Okay. Uh, fucking Bama goes in there and loses by 21 points. They're not getting in. Okay. They, they would put them in for Oklahoma State. I've watched both of those teams you're discussing, and there is zero fucking chance Oklahoma State's anywhere near as good as fucking Alabama. No. I and mean, I'll tell you what, if they if played tomorrow, Alabama would fuck, be at we'd 20 We'd be right there, favorite. man. Right? If Pitt would, if, even if he would have lost. handled business. Two, two, two games we were double digit favorites. If we would have won. Okay. Waz is on drugs. What's your favorite? What's your uh, favorite, you think? Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. Georgia, Bam, or I guess would Bama be one if they won the SEC championship? Yeah, Bama, Georgia, Ohio State, Cincinnati. I'm writing this shit down for later on when this comes true. I'm gonna fucking shit all, <laughs> all right. Over right, o- right, Oklahoma State, right, Oklahoma State, yeah. Yeah. Oklahoma State <laughs> yeah. is not. Yeah, that, was, they, right have a, they have a loss, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. if Oklahoma oh, yeah, State gets in, I'll eat two hot chips. <laughs> yeah, you have to shake on that. That's something you got to shake, shake on. Shake on that shit. I'll, I'll shake tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll even eat a hot chip if Oklahoma State gets in. I'm fuck it. To make fuck it. Chip. I'll eat another one. <laughs> I'll let Drew come up here and put the hot chip in my asshole if Oklahoma State gets in. That's four hot chips if Oklahoma State gets in. We'll take it anally. <laughs> That's, four. That's how confident I, I am. Okay, so I, I agree with Drew. I agree yeah. with Drew. That's that, that four. And I, and I honestly, Cincinnati, if they could tighten up that defense a little bit, honestly, I think they wouldn't get embarrassed by those teams. I don't think They're because really four and a half minutes. So. They got the team speed that they can keep up with those teams. You know what I mean? I, I think, think Georgia's since... Georgia's the only one that is head and shoulders better than Cincinnati this year, just because of Georgia's defense. But I think with how bad. Ohio State and Alabama's defenses have looked at times. Cincinnati's offense can move on them. Yeah, Cincinnati's offense can. They they got they're they're electric. I mean, they got a lot of fucking team speed. It's electric. I I think they would they could play better with them. It, I would I would put Notre Dame up in there. Just I don't like their quarterback situation. If they had a better quarter, and if they had a better quarterback, they'd be undefeated right. Yeah, now. I think Notre Dame so is a lot situation. better than they looked in the beginning half of the season, but. I just don't think it's going to be the same old song and dance. They're going to walk. They're going to creep in there if they do, and they're going to get. They're going to have no chance to win the game. Exactly. They might cover a twenty-point spread against Georgia, but they're going to have at no point are you going to be like, "Wow, Notre Dame has a shot." Here's no my offense. here's my thing. Yeah, okay. But if you're a twenty-point <laughs> fucking underdog to any team in the nation, you should not be in the fucking no. Thing. Yeah, no. You Anybody's going to be a twenty-point underdog to fucking Georgia, not Bama or Ohio State. You think okay? I don't, so I don't think you think no, no, hold on. But, two touchdowns. Uh, you don't think Cincinnati yeah, would be two, two touchdowns? I think maybe. I think I think Cincinnati would be like a it. Do, it all depends. 13. It depends on it depends on what Alabama and Georgia looks like. It depends on what With Georgia how, does to Bama. If they throttle With Alabama, how much then, Vegas yeah. loves the fucking Bama and Georgias. You don't think they would be fucking well, heavy ass fans? I'll tell you what. I'll tell That's you not what. how they set lines. They don't set lines based yeah. on who they love. They've set lines on how Bullshit they think they can they make don't. the most money. Oh, oh, they don't. Oh, Alabama versus Georgia. <laughs> Alabama fifty point favorites. Oh, I love Alabama. They bet, I you? hope. I hope Cincinnati's catching twenty. Points. I'm not oh, even yeah. sure yeah. those yeah. fucking yeah. handicappers in Vegas even like football. They don't. I, they, I think all, they're numbers all, guys and they're just numbers geeks and they're the they're the best guys. The mathematics wizards. They do not I bet have, with their I hearts. You're talking about well. companies that are paying them fucking – that have billions of dollars at stake. These dudes are not betting with who they like and who they don't. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Like. All right. Let, let know fucking... the Bama hat on. Hey. On. Hey. <laughs> hey. So, Brady just brought up we don't stand a chance we play Georgia. Done. The last two times we played Georgia, okay, we lost by what? One possession both times. And we were driving both times. We got hosed on a call one time. And the other time we got a strip sack. 
It turned a whole fucking – we were literally at fucking midfield both fucking times. It's we a had a chance. It's a different Georgia team. Oh, oh, it's a different Georgia team. Uh, do you yeah. remember the motherfuckers they had last time that we fucking played them? They actually had a good fucking team. Yeah, like they were so, you had a better suckers. team, too. They still went to the SEC championship. Yeah, 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 exactly. Year. You were a better team then, too. All right, I got to wrap this up. My chicken Alfredo is almost done. Chicken Alfredo. Drew right. sucks You're, fucking You walking dick. up there? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, I'm walking up for what? I got to drive the fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> Why you got to drive? Because it's car. I don't have a car. Huh. This is your car up? Never mind. Okay, I got to get my chicken off right now. That's a wrap. This will be up about 7.30 or so. I guess. Why am I even yeah, saying that? Tell them? They're gonna... Hey, the playoff, <laughs> so the, yeah, the playoff <laughs> rankings though. come out in about three hours. All right. No, they come out on Tuesdays. Oh, today is Tuesday. My chicken Alfredo comes yeah, out. Yeah, fuck face. Today is Tuesday there, isn't it? Yeah. My chicken Alfredo comes out in a minute, so we will wrap this up.